Hey wrestling fans, Brian Crazy, F and True Wrestling, here to bring you SmackDown results for 8-13-2010. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have too much to report in the Undertaker saga. Uh, I know all eyes are on Kane. Kane's eyes are still on Mysterio, so we're going to just have to wait to Sunday to SummerSlam to see what happens. Let's jump right into SmackDown results for August 13th, 2010. Our first match of the night, Kane went against Kofi and he picked up the win in the opener. Uh, then we had Drew uh, McIntyre. He went against uh, Matt Hardy. Drew ended up picking up the win, which, you know, they're really trying to build McIntyre's character, which I have no problem with. But I think the continual misuse of Matt Hardy really needs to be addressed. That's just my opinion. Um, next, we had Cody go against Christian. Yet again, you know, Christian, I don't know if this is punishment, you know, like I said about Matt for Jeff jumping ship to TNA or for Christian jumping to TNA for a little bit. I mean, this man was the NWA heavyweight champion. <coughs> Excuse me. Now he is being booked in low to mid card matches and he's doing superstars tapings. Uh, I really don't feel like they're utilizing his character properly. I mean, I think there would be no shame of Christian holding the IC title. If you don't see him for the world scene right now, maybe for the IC scene. Um, next, we had MVP go against Swagger. Kind of surprising. MVP picked up the win. I think it was a great choice by the WWE's creative department. Uh, MVP is a guy that, you know, got into some trouble early on. He was able to turn his life around and really excel in the ring. He's got good mic skills. He's got a good following. I think that was a great choice by the creative team. Uh, next, uh, there's kind of this scene shot uh, where Kofi and Dolph mixed it up a little bit. Oh, kind of leading into a match now at SummerSlam for the Intercontinental title, Kofi Kingston versus Dolph Ziggler, which I find pretty exciting. Um, next, we had Big Show go against three local stars on a 3 and one handicap match. Uh, Big Show easily defeated all three men. Afterwards, CM Punk and the Straight Edge Society came down to the ring and, you know, kind of mixed it up with Show a little bit. Uh, really, you know, not too much fighting. It was more of an exchange of words. Uh, for the main event of the night, we had a non-title match, Rey Mysterio versus Dolph Ziggler. Uh, great match, you know, both these guys bring a lot to the table. You know, Dolph really, you know, has started to open a lot of people's eyes in the last couple of weeks that he does have the in-ring ability to, uh, you know, move up in the company. Uh, after their match, King came down to the ring with the casket, and, you know, pretty much is assigned to Mysterio. Like I said at the beginning of the video, Kane's eyes are still on Mysterio. Everybody else's eyes are on Kane. Um, that was pretty much it for this week's SmackDown. Uh, wish I had a little bit more to report to you guys. Uh, the information I got was pretty limited this week, uh, but I thought I would share it regardless. Um, hey, if you have not already subscribed, please hit the button up top. Um, you know, if you guys like what you're seeing, check out our other vids. Me and my buddy JC Styles uh, do a whole bunch of different stuff, uh, all wrestling related. You know, really appreciate the support. You know, if you like us, check us out. I've been doing SmackDown results every week. We do a weekly wrestling review, uh, headline show, past versus present, question and answers. I mean, we try to, you know, touch a little bit of everything. So, uh, you know, yet again, thanks for checking uh, this vid out. This has been Brian Crazy for F and True Wrestling. Please subscribe and have a great day.